Um, this morning I will be discussing hypertension, aka high blood pressure, aka the silent killer. Uh, I will be discussing the what exactly it is, how you can get it, the causes of it, and how to actually overcome hypertension. High blood pressure, silent killer, hypertension is basically uh, the amount of blood pumped to your arteries per minute per second. Um, the normal, the normal uh, blood pressure reading is 120 over 80, and anything over that, as far as 140 over 90, is considered high blood pressure. You usually you usually don't see any kind of symptoms, and the main thing about it is that it's very solid. It has really no symptoms, like I said, and it's mostly found in African Americans. One thing, the, a few things causes high blood pressure. Your diet and your lifestyle, some people are just naturally born with it, and sometimes it's caused because of stress. As you can see, you got the pizza with everything on it, <laughs> and you got this nice little scientific picture. <laughs> Who knows what it means? And then you got my boy, old Fred, with the, I'm coming home to you, Elizabeth pose right there. Because <laughs> the mind is constantly stressing the mind. One way to overcome hypertension is low sodium intake, which is watching what you eat. Not so much of just regular Lay's potato chips. How about baked, baked Lay's potato chips? I still, I still taste a little salt in them, but I mean, it's not <laughs> as much per se. Um, when, when you're dealing with, when it's far as genetic, genetically, you want to exercise a little bit more than maybe the average person for as uh, maybe one mile a day for as walking or running or just a little cardio to get the blood flowing and kind of get your body right. For those of us who drink and smoke, we won't even ask that question, but uh, you might want to put the cigarette down and lay off the, the Jaeger just a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? not, not too many shots. And you can eliminate stress, but it really just depends on what you have going on in your life. As far as us being students, you could be stressed out with schools, especially if you've taken three, four classes at one time and you got three, four papers due a day after each other. It's a lot of stress involved, but if you could just take your time and, and prepare accordingly, you can kind of eliminate some of that stress on that level. Now, as far as personal life, it, it kind of depends. You might want to uh, consult your local physician for that kind of thing. So exactly what I went over was basically um, what is hypertension, what causes this, what causes it, and the different ways to overcome it. So, by me saying all of that, hopefully, if you do have hypertension or high blood pressure, now you know the different ways that you might have got it and the different ways you can take care of it. 